Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with the next topic where we'll talk about the different flavors of Sushi Linux. Okay, so we will cover the different flavors for Sushi Linux. That is the different types, different varieties of Sushi Linux. So the two main varieties that we'll see is the open Sushi, which is in open source and SUSE Linux Enterprise. This is also an open source, but we will see that under what circumstances of or what type of products will go with SUSE Linux Enterprise Edition and for what type of systems we go for open SUSE. So in short, actually, the reason why people go for open SUSE is people who wants to try multiple things, people who want to test out multiple things very fast. So those type of people, they go for open CC. So it's basically, it's a free open source and is an alternative to Microsoft Windows with many advantages. Open CC, this is suitable for desktops, for notebooks for servers, multimedia PC at home or in small office. Okay, this is one of the very old flavors of Linux and the new versions of Linux, they are released almost every 8 to 10 months and they support many different languages. Okay, OpenSUSE is developed by a community volunteering to work together with SUSE employees and it forms the base for enterprise products. So that's why we see different revisions very fast in this. Okay, the revisions they are they are released much faster than what you will see in the enterprise SUSE. Okay, so when do we go for open SUSE? When we look into things like bleeding edge technology. Okay, so that means the technology is just released. It is not yet matured. So that is where we try or start using the open SUSE. Where the changes are fast moving, they are released very fast. Okay, so fast moving data target. Okay. Next thing is about the lifespan is pretty short. That is 18 month of support cycle. Okay, and this mainly looks at the, the enthusiastic users who want to try out new things as and when it is released. Okay, so this is about the open SUSE and there are different versions for it. The current version is open SUSE 11.3. Then we have 11.2, 11.1, and 11.0. So these are the different versions of SUSE which is available. Okay, now let's look into the another flavor that we talked about is the SUSE Linux Enterprise. Okay, SUSE Linux Enterprise, this uses the SLE common code base and this is derived from X.1 release of SUSE. Okay, so basically this is a more matured version of it. So at the top you will see that if you see this is your enterprise SUSE, at the bottom you will find SUSE Linux Enterprise 
common code base and this also comes in two different flavors one is the server flavor another is the desktop okay then you have the SDK that is software development kit so you can see that the different flavors for SUSE is SUSE Linux Enterprise Desktop, SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. So this comes in these two flavors and this also contains an SDK built on the same code base. Okay, this being an operating system, this requires some See, as and when the security patches are released, as and when the updates need to be done. So, as far as the support life span for this is concerned, this is 7 to 10 years. Okay, and the development cycle is also pretty long for this. But there are periodic service packs which are released let's say every one to one and a half years okay and so this is about the SUSE Linux enterprise edition and as we have seen in the enterprise edition there is a desktop edition there is a server edition we have seen its maintenance cycle that is how fast those newer versions are released and Okay, so that is pretty much about the SUSE Linux flavors. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular topic. Thank you for joining and have a nice day. Bye-bye.